Okay, now that we know the basics of text, let's do something more advanced and a little bit more fun. Uh, what we're going to start here with is free transform, control T. What will free transform let you do? Well, it'll let you do a lot of things. One thing, it'll let you squish, resize, you know, your thing. As you can see there, it makes it look like it's in a mirror. It's just a fun little effect, you know, just playing around with it. Also, and I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this a little bit, but I'm going to show you how to rotate it. If you move your cursor outside of the free transform box like that, you can rotate your text around. Check this out. Rotating it to left, rotating it to the right. Hey there, you get the idea. Fun, huh? Okay. The next thing we're going to talk about are layer styles. To get them, you simply double click on the layer. There are other ways, but that's the easiest. So, for example, what is layer styles? Well, we have drop shadow. Check this out. Very cool. Makes it look like a shadow has been formed. Uh, we have outer glow. Can't really see anything, right? Don't worry. We're going to talk about that here in a minute. Well, here, there's outer glow, which is a real fun one. Uh, so the ye it's yellow, but change up there to blend mode to normal. Still can't really see anything. Here, let me make the spread a little bit. Still can't see anything. Let me change the color for you. All these options right here. I know I'm going quick, but I want you to go and explore on your own. A lot of good stuff is in here. So there we go. There you see some really cool things. Nice effect. I'm just going to undo everything. I'm going to leave it the way it is. Another one is gradient overlay. What is gradient overlay? That's gradient overlay. A gradual change from one color to another. And I want to move it over here so you can see. And those are all preloaded. You have them in your Photoshop too. Lots of cool, fun, fun stuff. All right. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to cancel out of here. And next, we're going to be talking about rasterizing. This is very, very fun stuff. To rasterize a text, all you do is right click on the layer and select rasterize type. I'm going to zoom in here so you can see it a little clearer. Well, what does that do? it's going to change the text into pixels. Doesn't sound like much, right? But as you can see from the layer there, it kind of the icon ch changes a little bit. So what does this do? Well, this gives us some more options. For example, in free transform, we can now right click inside the box and now we have scale, rotate, skew. Here's what skew looks like. Very cool thing. Uh, warp as amongst the other things. A lot of things that you can do that you couldn't do until it was rasterized. So, here you go. I'm going to let you, I'm going to just going to explore with a couple more of these here and I urge you to explore. It takes a, you know, if you, to get the desired effect you're looking for, it takes a bit of practice here, but I feel confident with a little practice that you'll be just fine with it. Here you go. A little, we'll make it a little three-dimensional there, kind of well, what am I looking for here? Hold on here. What? Ah, no, there we go. That's kind of something I'm looking for. It's kind of fun stuff. And when you hit enter, it will clean it up a little bit. I'm just going to undo it here. Um, remember, escape to cancel your free transform. Enter to accept it. That's always very important. And here is a fun one. Warp. It can make it look like it's peeling off the page. You can twist it. You can bend it. Uh, you can make it look like it has a little barrel at the end, which is what I'm going to kind of do here. Uh, oops, that's not it. Ah, there we go. Lots of lots of fun stuff to do here with that. So, explore. We've gone over free transform, rasterizing, and layer styles. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Bye-bye.